warning, this video is and was made by personal opinions and experiences. Hey guys, it's Imani Renee and I am coming to you guys to talk about self-confidence today. <laughs> now, it's something that I wanted to talk about because, um, something that I struggled with for a long time. Um, a lot of people didn't view me to be, um, pretty when I was younger and I got made fun of and bullied when I was younger so um it's something that really touches me and like I'm still getting over even though like I'm older like I was teased for so long and bullied for so long that I actually started to believe like what people were telling me about myself and the reason why it's called self-confidence is because you have to feel a certain way about yourself <laughs> Self-confidence basically, in a sentence to me, is who you view yourself as. And I view myself as a pretty young lady who's going somewhere and that no one can tell me anything different because um I know where I'm going and I know about myself. You know, <laughs> like if you want to be successful at whatever job or field or life, you have to have self-confidence because nobody is going to be there having your back the most except for yourself because when your family isn't there, your friends or whoever you talk to on a daily basis who always gives you words of wisdom is not there and God. <laughs> well, God's always there. But, but when no one else is there, you have to have it for yourself. And if you need to pray to God about that, then that's the area that you need to pray about and fast about and you know um self-confidence is called self-confidence because you have to have it no one's gonna have it for you no matter no matter what job or field you want to work in you have to make sure that you have it because if you don't then and in this world it's a doggy -dog, dog world so when somebody tries to tear down your confidence they do it so they can succeed in the end or they can make themselves feel better honestly um and that has to do with who how they see their selves in the mirror i had a friend named bob <laughs> no i'm gonna just use bob okay i had a friend named bob um me and bob been friends for like uh like middle school grammar school then high school together um Bob was always like tearing me down mentally. Uh, for example, we, we went out to a basketball game at my school, at my high school, um, and Bob didn't feel like getting dressed, I guess, um, nicely. And I pride myself in appearance. I like to look the best wherever I go. Um, just because it's a personal thing. I just like to look nice. Who doesn't like to feel nice and look nice and stuff, you know? But, <laughs> but Bob, I guess, didn't feel like doing that. And Bob told me not to look nice. Like, as a friend, I understand that you don't want to be mean about it or know how to approach somebody about saying, hey, just because you don't feel like dressing a certain way or looking a certain way doesn't mean I have to. And if you feel insecure about me looking nice at a basketball game, then you have to dig deep inside yourself and see how you view yourself. And a lot of times when we've been out, like I noticed that I would get a lot of attention from people and she would get jealous of the fact that I was getting a lot of attention and she would try to tear me down by saying, look how thick her eyebrows are, oh, she has a mustache, <laughs> or like before we was getting ready to go out somewhere, she would say, hey, you want to borrow this for me? I'd be like, sure, like a, I would spend a night over her house, so I'll bring giant bags, so when we go out, she would let me borrow like a smaller bag, and um, yeah, if we were out, and somebody complimented the bag, she'd be like, oh, I know, oh, I know, oh, that's fine, like, things like that, but 
But I realized that she didn't love herself and I tried to feed that love into her but there was a point where I couldn't do it anymore because she would she'd be too much. She's too dramatic for me. I show love to people. Like people may see me sometimes and think that I don't really like I'm not I'm not really social because I'm shy and people mislead that for being like Hollywood or something. But I'm really shy. So If you feel fat, like, lose some weight. You have acne. Oh, uh, you're on YouTube. Look at some freaking videos on how to get rid of acne. Go see your dermatologist. If you, like, come on. If you think you're too short, you can't do anything about that. Wear some heels. Get some shoes. I have an online store. I'm pretty sure I have some shoes that you'll like. But <laughs> if you feel like... Your wardrobe isn't up to par. Get a job. Buy some clothes. There you go. That people complain about in their life that they don't they don't appreciate. People need to, to actually to actually focus on what they do. they do have, so they won't um, focus on the negative so much. And people try to tear down your self confidence because they don't have it themselves. So when you meet somebody who doesn't have like good self confidence. Just know it's not them speaking, it's their insecurities that they have within that they need to talk about. Maybe you should, for exercise, to figure out things that you need help on with self-confidence. All you have to do is like free write. Free write meaning you pick up a bed, pick up a paper, you write and see what comes out. Just start off with the title self-confidence and you'll see what comes out while just writing freely you have to pre-write you don't have to sit there and track your grammatical errors or anything you just have to sit there and pre-write i mean <laughs> free write free write free um and when you're like questioning why are people hating on me they hate on jesus like they hate on jesus like you can't get any worse than hating on jesus like Why is self-confidence called self-confidence? You have to have it in yourself. Um, no one's gonna have it for you. The world is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. No, but if you wanna learn how to eat healthier or exercise, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be posting things that I do to maintain my weight and exercise daily, because you need at least an hour of exercise every day. Um, if you have acne, go to your dermatologist. I had acne at an early age. I had acne. I started getting acne about in sixth grade. Um, and a lot. It wasn't like one, one, one. I like, ooh. People are going to hate. Your self-confidence is how you see yourself. So, see yourself in a positive light. Okay? Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed my video about self-confidence. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? <laughs> Love you, blog bunnies. <laughs>